Yo, what is going on, guys? It's your here. Bring us into a Photoshop tutorial. Bring us text variation. I guess you can say episode number two. Um, you guys really, really enjoyed when I did the text variation episode number one, where I did like the cool little, uh, I guess, like accent lines around the text, and I uh, just give you this really cool little simple layer style to go with it. So today, I want to give you guys the idea to turn something like this into something like this, which is actually really freaking cool. I don't know. I just think this looks like it looks like a. Uh, just very clean to me. It just, it just like, I don't know, puts a smile on my face. So, I thought to give you guys an idea to actually erase your text and uh, also with the right layer style itself, give you this really cool effect. So, as simple as this is and as simple as the layer style is, if you guys don't know how to do it, it's going to be hard for you guys to actually go about it. So, of course, today's tutorial will be showing how to do something exactly like this at least. And, of course, the texture brushes I'm going to be using are the ones that are mine located in the description below. If you guys want to purchase them for $5, you can go ahead and do that as well. Um, so yeah, you can see the background itself is very nice and clean, and this really likes, I, I, you, can, you can distinguish this, uh, this texture I have going on in the background, and also see it getting played through the text itself. So, with that being said, something like this for anyone really can just work out. Um, so I just wanted to make sure this is out there to make sure it's a cool little idea. It's kind of original effect here. So let's get going right now. We have the word text. By the way, this font is called Move X. I'll just, all I have to see, I believe that's what it's called. Yep, Move X. So there you guys go. All right, so we're going with the word text right now. So please make sure your spelling is right if it's not just a four-letter word or make sure your name is right, the client name is right, because once you rasterize this layer, of course, you'll not be able to touch it ever again unless you turn into a smart object, but I'm not, I'm not sure... If you can actually erase with a smart object, yeah, you cannot. You have to rasterize. So yes, rasterize your layer, and you're ready to get started. So of course, I'm gonna use the same exact brush as before. So I'm gonna have my eraser now, and I'm gonna use this brush right here, where it's the same one I kind of played through the background right here. I'm gonna make it as big as I want, and I'm just gonna simply erase the text like so. I'm gonna click multiple times, try not to move, so that the erase is like kind of like a, a very just clean, I guess you can say. So there is that. I can use a different brush. Let's use, I mean, not brush, eraser brush. Um, let's try this one. Why not? Let's do this one. I don't mind. Uh, let's just. That looks. No, nah, that's too much. Not too big. Okay. Let's see. Um, maybe this one. I don't mind this one. Let's try this one. Uh, let's erase. Maybe here. No, we don't want to erase too much where you can't see the letter. That'll work. That's pretty good. Uh, let's see this one now. I like that. Okay. Get in some places. And maybe just do one like... Like maybe here. Okay. And then last but not least, let's just take a nice other one. Like maybe this one. And putting it on the X right here. All right, cool. So simple enough, you guys saw me just erase the text itself with some really cool little brushes, gave the text some uh, some texture, and I also did not want to erase so much that I couldn't see the letters anymore. So with that being said, we're basically done. The effect is there. Now I'm just gonna add some really cool layer styles to it and actually give you guys more in, uh, like inside of some layer styles. So let's double click on this. And by the way, the whole point of this one uh, was this the series to start this series is I know I never ever gave you guys any kind of text variation tutorials when I actually did the t uh, the banner of uh, any kind of banners. So that's just me giving it back a little bit more, giving some more like insight on text itself while you're finishing your banner. So that's what this whole point of this thing is for. So, all right. Anyway, we're going to use Bevel and Embos. Emboss, guys, please. You guys almost helped me the first time you guys tried to spell it, like spell it out and like <laughs> like teach you how to say it, but I really don't know how to say it. I'm very sorry. And I know everyone is just upset right now and like face palming. I get it. I don't know how to say it. Embos, emboss. Guys, help me. Okay? Alright, so anyway, bevel and embos, emboss, please, don't hurt me. Um, we're gonna be doing something like this, so just simple enough, I'm just gonna put this up to like six hundred and I'll give you guys uh some really even settings so you guys to work with these. So 690, 90 degrees at a one angle, and also maybe just check off use global light, and then we'll put that back at 90 and put this back on one. And then simply enough, your white and black will just be scaled down so you can actually see, just distinguish the two uh, highlights of the color so it looks a little bit more better when you're working with uh, uh, overlapping these over uh, the, these layer styles of what you're gonna be doing. So after that's done, we can just use some inner shadow. We're trying to pop this text out a little bit more. And we're just going to say, this is okay. Uh, we'll, we'll do something like that. So, one, three, five. Uh, maybe some inner glow if you guys want to. If you guys want to be keen with it. Let's just make a nice little 
simple white and okay that can look good all right so gradient overlay let's do that as well just because soft light simple gradient 15 and maybe just maybe a simple drop shadow hmm okay that can look good this can look good all right yeah all right so good so now that I'm done with that I'm gonna press ok I just have a lot of effects on it right now but what I'm going to do is control J to duplicate the text itself and I'm going to basically right click on this text and clear the layer style double click on it and I'm going to select the uh, color overlay and I'm gonna make it white so the text itself is not gonna be white I'm going to control T free transform and just make it a little bit bigger so I'm gonna hold shift and just make it a little bit bigger just like so now I'm gonna rasterize this uh, layer on the bottom with the white and we're just gonna move this to a cool little angle to give it like a little almost like a 3d effect or maybe just some dimension to it so with that being said we're gonna click on the second one now and we're gonna go to bevel and Bose do the same thing I'm just gonna go about it with like a not too too like planning um, okay that can be good so let's just put this at 285 and size 90 90 degrees 1 21 and 14 and I'm gonna put some inner shadow on it as well I don't see why not let's just put the choke up no size really or just put one size and then lower this down a little bit and then maybe some drop shadow as well like so I think this is looking pretty freaking cool so far all right maybe some gradient overlay in the back as well um so yeah if you guys have any other ideas with your layer styles that you guys will try it out you guys can just go ahead and go about them as well the whole time is just don't show you guys how I did the exact same thing I did before over there um maybe just maybe let's take the inner shadow and just lower it um okay that can work out so let's press ok alright so that's cool enough so that that way we already have the two layer styles selected on each layer now we're gonna do is control click on both of them control G and now we're gonna make a layer uh, layer style on the actual group now so that way put some bevel and bows on it it's gonna look all really cool and clean and like almost this one simple layer style but it's really not so I'm going to use chisel hard is how I got the effect I got before and we're just gonna go about it like so this can look good just like that um, mess around the angle a little bit maybe uh, that can look pretty cool so you can also get some really cool metal textures with this kind of effect so if you weren't working with like a pink color like I am you're wearing like a gray you can get a really cool metal texture as well um, so just think about that it's all this whole thing you guys gotta think about the process of which you can use this and also make it really freaking cool uh, Okay, that's cool. Color overlay, let's use a red and put it on multiply. Yeah, I'm down for that. Okay, lower the opacity down. Not bad. Give it a cool little pink. Uh, I don't really know. Overlay, soft light. Yeah, soft light looks best, gradient overlay. I don't know, this looks pretty cool so far. Maybe you just go weird and out of stroke. No, I'm just completely kidding. That's what you don't do. Because once you do that, all the like little effects just go to like go to waste. You see, it just looks really weird. Um, maybe just an inner shadow as well. Then let's put this up, this down. Okay, sweet, cool. All right, so that's basically it, guys. Uh, the whole entire thing was just to show you guys some cool little layer style work. So, of course, you guys can actually multiply the layer style over and over and over again, either putting in more groups or rasterizing the text itself, which I don't say you should do because you should be able to like go back and edit any of the textures you want to or any of the layer styles you want to. But you can also overlay and keep overlaying and overlaying layer styles on each other to actually make this really crazy layer style. And uh, so that's just the whole point of it. So... Hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. Please leave a like if you guys did. Please comment down anything below. Of course, next video will probably be a 3D video for you guys. So I'm just doing this all back and forth thing. So of course, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much. Talk to you guys later. Let's switch you out. Peace. Let me just also add like some light on the top because I want to add light. I can't end it without adding a light because it needs to be perfect, right? A light, just like boom. Boom. Text. Sweet. Alright, thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys later.
Peace. All right, no, but seriously, I wanted to also show you guys at the end of this video, really quickly though, at least how to actually make the accent lines that I want to edit off without telling you guys how I did them, because as well as, it's just it's almost as simple as before as I did before, just pen tool it out, but of course, I'm just going to show you guys just because, make a new layer really quickly. Simply enough, we're just going to go about this and add some simple little curves and such, and if you guys know how to use a pen tool as many times as I gave a tutorial on it, and basically every one of my tutorials were ever had to use the pen tool, it's simple enough, you click, drag, and you hold alt on your anchor spots so that it doesn't curve. Um, it's as simple as that. I mean, you can go into more depth, but of course I have other tutorials on that kind of stuff, so of course you can go look at it if you want to. Uh, let's just go about this like so. Uh, we'll make this one, these two pink. Uh, right click, fill paths, color, select the same color, maybe just move it over a little bit, and it's pink now, sweet. All right, and we're going to make two, uh, let's just say a, a different tone, like a black or a gray. Let's go over here, and why not one over here? Hold shift to make straight lines, by the way. Looks a little bit better. Let's see, boom. All right, right click fill paths and use the color black now this is cool right click delete path and alright accent lines are done simply enough you want to right click on your group layer we had all the text and stuff so this is your text uh, group by the way right click copy layer style it'll copy the groups layer style right here and that's all you really need because when you paste this on it will keep the same exact flows you had going on with the text itself I just put this below the light there we go so now that's how you get it it looks pretty cool um, so yeah, now the video is done. Now I'm gonna leave, and it's gonna be really abrupt, uh, like a really abrupt ending. Or some of those things where you're like talking, all of a sudden just 